Hello everyone! Welcome to Learn and Share! We have another challenge word problem! Problem 7. There are 20 players in a chess championship. Each player must play exactly one match against every other player. How many matches are there in the championship? Do you want to try it yourself? Feel free to pause the video and try it yourself. Do you want to see how I solved it? I solved it in a step-by-step -step way. Let's see it. Step one, understand the problem. So what are we given? We are given that the total number of players equals 20. And each player plays exactly one match with every other player. What is there to find? We have to find the number of total matches. Step two, plan. Now let's think about the strategies. So here are all the strategies. There is draw a picture, organize list, make a table, make a graph, act it out, look for a pattern, try check revise, number sentence, logical reasoning, solve a simpler problem, and work backwards. I'm going to use organize list and solve a simpler problem and look for a pattern. Step three, solve. So let's assume there are three players right now. So A will play with B and we'll get an AB combination. And then A will play with C and we'll get an AC combination. In the same way, B will play with A and we'll get a B A combination. And B will play with C and we'll get a B C combination. Let's see who C plays with. First, C will play with A and we'll get a C A combination. And then C will play with B and we'll get a C B combination. Since each player plays exactly one match against the other player, let's try to remove the duplicates. So the AB combination is okay because it's unique. So is the AC combination. The BA combination is the same as the AB combination, so we won't consider it. But the BC combination is unique. We'll consider this. The CA combination is the same as the AC combination, so we won't consider it. And the CB combination is the same as the BC combination, so we won't consider this also. So, out of all these combinations, the unique combinations are AB, AC, and BC. So, the number of combinations equals... 2 plus 1 equals 2, 3. Now let's assume another case where the number of players equals 4. A, B, C, and D. Player A can play with player B, C, and D. So here are the possible combinations. A, B, A, C, and A, D. So all these combinations are unique. So we accept them all. So here are the possible combinations for player B. B A, B C, and B D. Player B has already played with player A, so we won't consider this. But player B hasn't played with C or D. So we'll consider these two combinations. 
So here are the possible combinations for player C. C A, C B, and C D. Player C has already played with player A and player B, so we can't consider those. But we could definitely consider the C D combination. So, in the same way, here are the possible combinations for player D. D A, D B, and D C. Player D has already played with player A, player B, and player C, so we can't consider any of its combinations. So the possible number of combinations for four players equals to three plus two plus one equals two, six. Let's find the pattern now. Is there any pattern that we can find from our examples from three players and four players? For three players, we found that the number of matches were two plus one. And for four players, we found that the number of matches was three plus two plus one. Hmm. Oh, so here's a pattern. We have to start with one less than the number of players and add the numbers until one. If we apply the same pattern for five players, then we'll get four plus three plus two plus one equals to 10. Let's apply the same pattern for 20 players. So for the 20 players, it would be 19 plus 18 plus um, all the numbers until plus one. Let's do the calculation part out now. Oh my gosh, it's too much work. But don't worry, I could show you a trick to make it simpler. You could see here that 19 plus 1 equals 20. In the same way, 18 plus 2 also equals 20. And 17 plus 3 equals to 20. 16 plus 4 also equals to 20. 15 plus 5 gives us another 20. And 14 plus 6 equals to 20. 13 plus 7 gives us also 20. 12 plus 8 equals to 20. 11 plus 9 equals to the final 20. And since there's 10, it doesn't go with anyone, so we could just add the 10. So here, we could see that we have nine twenties for which we could easily do nine times 20 equals to 180. And now we could add this to 10 to get the final answer. 180 plus 10 equals 190. So there will be 190 matches in the championship. Yay, we solved the problem! Step four, look back and check. Have we solved all the simpler problems correctly? Yes, we have. Have we found the pattern correctly? Yes, we have. And have we added all the numbers correctly? Yes, we have. So this means our answer is 9. Correct! Yay! We solved the problem! Do you want to try another strategy? Here I have listed all the strategies. You could use a strategy and try to solve the problem with it. For more word problems, Click the link in the description.
description box below. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you. Bye.